Go ahead. Go ahead, Elaine. Hi! Sorry, I, I was waiting. But I mean, basically, yeah, no, that's fucking insane. I was just listening to that. I mean, I, the, the cope, the fucking lengths that people go to to try and get a win, uh, saying that, like, you're abusing your daughter and all of that shit. Like, what, it, what the fuck is this? Like, this isn't Riverdale. Like, calm down. Like, not everything's like an abuse story. Like, the sex is so fucking weird about this shit. Because they want to turn everything tiny that they see into something more than what it is. Like, it's mosquito bites. People can't take that. No, so it literally was like, like mosquito bites. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people, I know. It. People people don't want to deal with it because it's less entertaining. It would be much more entertaining to them if it was abuse. So instead, they make up a reason as to why it's abuse. Plus, because if, they don't, if it was abuse, you know, why game. would... I took a picture and posted that publicly. Why would anybody else yeah, who might involve who, who why would anybody <laughs> else who might have been involved in that situation allow me to take that picture publicly does that make on does it make any sense at all it's also like it's also the fact that what i picked up on about the sector is that people can't deal with the mundaneness of life they can't deal with mosquito bites the fact that sometimes there are marks on people because you know i don't know because kids play around and they be doing weird shit like fucking playing on scooters and bicycles and all of that shit as well. People can't deal with just how boring stuff actually is. So instead, they have to like try and make up a reason as to why these things exist. And it's so it happens every time. I don't like, even know what. By the way, this guy's crazy. I see. Keep going. Ahead, keep talking. <laughs> Charge back. You'll no, lose. No. There's no. Um, there's no. The only thing that is guaranteed from a super chat is that you give me money. Uh, and that I might play the audio, so you can charge back all you want, uh, but you won't get your money back, so <laughs> do what you'd like. People just don't know how shit works, and it shows. But um, <laughs> but the the mosquito thing, I, I, I saw the, like that shit, and I was just like, what is wrong with people? Like, are people so, like, bored and, like, reaching for content that they're now, they're now going to this extent? It's like people would rather stuff be use than it be what it actually is because it's more entertaining to them I mean, like it would be more entertaining to them if that was the case yes so i mean well but it. but that's sick like i know i wouldn't I know, not do that ever by the way uh and i want to be very clear and uh you know this is a show we're having fun you know party favors party tricks here and there uh but Godwinson hold on three dollars rotten teeth oh Mono wow Brown. One nostril it's than the other. Fuck this <laughs> ugly skank. Wow, Gawinson, why don't you just call him, brother? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. If you're all about the Kino Dogma 2007, let's just do it right now. I think. I think. Uh, I think. He, I think he lost his edge. Do you think he's he lost his edge? Adam lost his edge. Oh uh, <laughs> no, Adam lost his edge. Why doesn't he just call in now? I mean, if he has everything on you, why doesn't he do it? I mean, to be fair, like, we saw what he had on me, and what he had on me was, like, a huge... Okay, let me ask you this. Him. Okay, I'll be devil's advocate. He had you yes. in his bed. You had clothes on, by the way, but you were skimpily clad a little bit. Uh, and you emptied out an envelope of I don't even know what. Uh, it was an escape game. Yeah, an it was an escape game. It was like, an escape game. game. Yeah, 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 okay. So I know shit about that. And then he ha he released a... a let me, can I show this again? He released yeah, yeah, this. He released Total. this as an own on you, Elaine. This is Godwinson's own on on you. I mean, it's not the best photo of me. Usually, I'm way more. Well, no, her. but I mean, look at Godwinson. I don't give a fuck about it. like. Look at how he looks. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I like how he released that being like Elaine. Also, I want to point out that in two tweets he contradicts himself because in one tweet he said, "I tagged you in this." He said in one tweet like, um. I had to hose her down after. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. he so wouldn't have to pay for me. Yeah, yeah, jobs. yeah. yeah. Like he said, no, he yeah, said, it doesn't even make sense. You're right. I, I dragged you outside and hosed you down in the paddling pool after intercourse to ensure the Ralph Amell existence of paying 18 years of child support to some blank lunatic is avoided. And then in the other, he said, blowies only is what he said so it doesn't even it doesn't That's even why make I sense to that because yes because he he himself admitted that it that there was no sex but then he go then he says on another tweet i had to hose her down after intercourse so he says so either it's one thing or the other 
Either it was only blowies while he was thinking about chuckles, or he had to hose me down after dirty intercourse with me. Why is he hiding? Way, cannot be burned. Elaine, why is he hiding? I don't know. He lost his edge. His edge is nowhere to be found. But um, I, I am like an autistic level detective. I be all of the autism of, of fucking Spratheader and Brian combined. So when I saw those tweets, I was like, how is no one called out? That he literally just contradicted himself. Like, why is no? Hey, by the <laughs> way, H Mo, do you that? have any more jokes about how the Bills are gonna get blown out on Sunday? Or if not, because I'm about to ban you. Or else you can give me some more money, and I won't ban you. But, uh, <laughs> but, but you're a real faggot. So, um, FK, JFK, Ralph ignores the truth. Is that what that? <laughs> that's what somebody said in response to that. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what that means. But uh, if you don't have anything else, uh, I, I, I think you can go. Uh, I, I, yeah. think, I think you can go. He's wasting our time. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of sad peasant. at this point. Um, I actually, um, nobody will believe this. He won't for sure. But uh, it's a sad situation. Um, and that's all I can say legally, basically. So. Okay. Don't know strike this scammer. Please join me until he plays Amanda. I'll I'll play it. Send me ten more dollars and I'll play it. I'll play the whole song. Send me yeah, ten more. Uh, send me ten more dollars, and I'll play the whole song. And I'll and I'll walk off camera and play the. Whole, actually, you know what? I'll sit on camera and listen to the whole song. By the way, I never I never called that person that. So, um, that really doesn't bother me in the first place. Uh, that's something you guys called her, but um, yeah, just 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 send me ten more dollars, not and I'll play the whole song. Is that what you're really upset about? You're gonna be really upset this Sunday. I got a feeling. But uh, why would I be upset, but, dude? I mean, look. I mean, come on, man. Look. Do you see this, Elaine? Beautiful. Elaine. You did wow. Well. She is a gorgeous. Like, I mean. Anyone, anyone talking shit about, like, to be honest, like, when I read all of the cope, I had the best entertainment when I saw all the cope. Like, do you, do you see that account on Twitter? Like, this is the one who I love bullying called Raphael Mania. He is the biggest loser, and I just enjoy cyberbullying him. And he was saying, like, oh, my God, she's just, like, pantsuit. And I was like, this is, like, an own it yourself. It doesn't even you look like that. Now, by the way, I can't comment on anybody specifically, but. That is no way in bears in reality. Yeah. <laughs> like, like that's like crazy. It, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. like this person is insane. Like <laughs> Raphael Mania, he wants to have violent hate sex with you. Like I'm telling you, this a log of yours. Like he is gay. He wants to ralph a male dick. That is all I'm gonna say. Like there is no way that some of these people are not are not like doing this for a fetish. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Like these a logs are so fucking so, homosexual. He's coded. so desperate to get me to say shit. So and so sloppy seconds, nigga. <laughs> well, when you're when you're bad in cleanup, uh, you know they put they put the cleanup hitter in the main role for a reason, Harry. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, they don't put the power hitter up at number two. They put him up at three or four. Uh, and so, you know, I'm not worried about bad and cleanup. Matter of fact, uh, some, there was some cleanup that had to be done. Um, but, uh, it wasn't by me. Go ahead. Yeah, no, but basically I, yeah, I've been seeing some of the comments about her trying to like, they, they're always trying to compare her to, like, your previous exes. And I find that so pathetic because it's very obviously a completely different and way better looking person. And there's, there's like, there's no problem with people if they have, like, criticism of you. I get that. Like, people are entitled to free speech. But some people are just straight out fucking lying. Like, some people are not even looking at reality. They are just looking at it and being like, I'm going to make this up as I go along. And they'll come up with all of these, like, they'll come up with, like, huge maps like point evidence explain maps about trying to explain why they they believe the things they do and it's like you've just made something that's already schizophrenic look 10 times more schizophrenic congratulations by A -Log. the way chuckles is a friend of yours but chuckles is a zionist clown and i never want her anywhere around me to be clear um so. yeah she was yelling at she was yelling at me earlier today for like um associating with you 
and I was like, and I was like, buddy, I just like I'm not, <laughs> I'm definitely not going to stop talking to someone over like hard hard over a Palestinian. <laughs> like, like I don't give a fuck about the war. I don't care. I'm not in Israel or Palestine. I don't care. Like this, <laughs> like I'm going to be real. Like it, it, I'm not. I'm literally like in in like European Western society. Like I, this has no effect on my life. So I don't know why Chuckles thinks that it has an effect on hers either, because we aren't anywhere near the conflict. So I don't know how people can feel bad on behalf of a whole group of people that are just killing each other in some firm. That's that's always happening anyway. Like look at Yemen, look at Ukraine. I mean, to be fair, I'm very near that conflict, but like anyway. Like that's happening all over the world, so like why why get like this? Why do people get worked up about this shit? So, well, you know, I you know I'm anti-Zionist. I'm not gonna lie to you. I support. Yeah, the no, you can have whatever. But you do, you know? but you know, I like I carry on my life day to day. Like I don't just go like, oh God, the Zion, you know, fuck, uh, you know, I have to keep on living, like, right? Like I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, uh, but I get what you're saying. Right, yeah. like, like I, I keep on living my life every day, um, regardless of what happens, whatever crazy shit. That I mean, you've seen the crazy shit. Could you even imagine this being somebody else's life? Like, I mean, like, I mean, seriously. Yeah, that's how I feel about my own. Sometimes I'm like, wow. Like, imagine, it, imagine asking normal people if they know what like Chud Buds is. Like, of course not. Normies don't know about Claire Bear and her husband's mangled penis, so whatever. But the thing is, uh, with Chuckles, I think Chuckles makes her Jewishness like a big personality trait because she's it's like she doesn't want people to be anti Semitic towards her, so she's done like the opposite of what I've done, in which case I just don't give a fuck because it's really, I really just don't. By the way, I've been told that Cuggles' dad is a pedophile. Um... I don't convicted. know. I have not looked into shit in that. But well, that, I've been told yeah, that, that is he, Coco is he a convicted pedophile? I want to know for sure before I say that. That's true. Is, is what this I'm a being Brian told. Cuss? No, 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 no. I'm serious. I'm being told by people that I trust. And and by the way, I just told really? by the guy I trust the most. Cuckle's dad is a convicted pedophile, Brian Dunn style. Yes, it's 100 percent confirmed. Holy shit. Well, the thing so, and I was just told is, by the guy I trust more than anybody. So, um, you know, again, okay. not my statement, their statement, but uh, I believe it. The thing with Chuckles is I think she's so worried about anti-Semitism, which, like, I kind of get. Dude, she, you know, she doesn't even look Jewish. She's done so much plastic surgery on her exactly. face. Like, who can even tell? Like, what the fuck? Like, like see, what, no, one, no one actually gives a fuck if someone's, like, Jewish or gay in the sector. Like, let's be real. This is actually Well, really I won't say that. Well, you know, look. I don't give a well, fuck like, no because I have Jewish metaphor. guests on my show all the time. I don't hate Jews. I've said that a million times. I don't hate gays. You hate Zionists. It's a different thing. I don't hate Zionists. I vehemently disagree with Zionists. And yes, That's I'll say some fucked bitch. up things about them for sure. But I don't hate those people. I don't hate political opponents. Because was, I feel I wasn't I raised like that. Like, I don't hate political opponents. Like, Chuckles seems to think that because you're not pro-Zionist, that that means that you're an enemy. Which I, I and I'm not. By the way, talk. Can you talk for like two two minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I don't I'm have sure you that. Can, sweetheart. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't have that mentality. Um, there are a lot of people in the sector who seem to think that like once you disagree with something um politically, that that means that you have to be enemies for like ever. Like there were so many celebrities who during the like. Israel Palestine stuff were like literally canceling each other over like someone liking a pro Zionist or anti Zionist Instagram post. And it's like, wow, like you guys really don't have anything to argue about. Like there's really nothing to, to <laughs> there's you, <laughs> this is so first world problems, even being able to have that argument. But I think the issue with Chuckles is that she has made this argument her fucking entire. Like she, there's there's absolutely nothing wrong with being Jewish or Palestinian, but when you're making a whole center point, 
you're gonna like piss people off because people feel like it's being shoved in their face. By the way, me and you are killing it. Did you know that? <laughs> are we? Yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's two seventy three over here. Uh, so we have um uh, seven hundred plus people watching us live just on Kick and Rumble. Ooh, based. Is that the biggest show you ever been on? What's the biggest show you ever been on? Let me think. Probably this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted you to say. <laughs> I, <laughs> there are my dogs. <laughs> hey, where's the I'm cosplay? Like, hey, hey, hey. Let's just cut the bullshit. Oh, I need to do the cosplay. I, I have it. Are I you have serious, it dude? Are my... you serious right now? Yeah, I have it like, next. No, no, no. I mean, are chair. you serious? You haven't taken it yet? Yeah, because I was waiting for it to dry because I put it in the wash. Okay. Sailor Moon. I know another fucking. I got a picture I'm with doing somebody. A Sailor Moon. Sailor with Moon do you off. know the other picture of me? Are you trying to like do a callback? Do you know the other picture of me and Sailor Moon? Oh my God. Oh, Are you shit. really. You know that picture in I front of that. Caesar's Palace? <sighs> okay. Well, that. all That's women, true. they only have Sailor Moon or fucking like, uh, you know. You know, Gator Neon to about that. Of course he did. Of course he did. He's Gator was smoke. like, oh my God, she's going to be wearing cosplay. They only have they only have Sailor Moon or Neon <laughs> Evangelion or whatever the fuck you we call that. We have Cat Is. Yeah, yeah, cat ears and shit like that. Uh, and so, oh wow, what is this? Oh no, oh don't don't get me started, man. The best in the game, God, dude. <sighs> okay. Do you think Data cosplays in his spare, like by himself, like in his room? Yeah. Like I just have, I bet you Gate has to cosplay to jack off. Like he'd be dressing up as like some anime character and he'd be stood in front of the mirror like that's just how i imagine gator's life like cog life is vomiting over um, over a bucket and gator life is just stood in front of the mirror jacking off in anime clothes it's so. just sad so so you do have the anime though yeah kind okay. of well uh, what do you I mean kind of wait anime. what is this man don't give me this female bullshit like what yes, do you mean kind of i do I ordered it. I mean, like, I don't have any other animation. Like, I basically just have my, my <laughs> Sailor Moon and my cat is. Like, I'm not an anime connoisseur. Okay, it's either the, uh, that or put on the cat suit and come on air with it on. Shit. You know what? I could do that. All right. I'll put my contact. Now, now let me ask. Let right me now. ask. Press one for cat suit. Press two for Sailor Moon. But if you cut, but, but if you put on the cat suit, you have to come on air with it on. Okay, we'll see. Them. Well, I don't think we do that. What do we do? I don't know. What the fuck do we ever do? Like, what the fuck? It's a kill stream. Like, everyone's gonna say two. Everyone's What's gonna say what? What's everyone saying, chat? Uh, well, I, I haven't see seen the vote cool. yet because we're like 10, 15 seconds behind. Uh, let me see. Kick is a little bit faster. Um, okay, so one was for the um cat suit actually. Uh, and one seems to be winning, although there are some zeros. There was a two, though. There was one two. But, <laughs> but it's okay, up, it's to, up to you. It's I up to you. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I can be accused them. of it. I can put, like, the cat is on with the Sailor Moon. Well, just, you know, d do whatever you think's proper. Um, now, what is this being sent to me right now? Chuckles, Dad. Oh man, Chuckles. Oh no. Oh Chuckles. What is it? Oh no, Chuckles. This is not good. This is not good, Chuckles. Oh no. Chuckles, why did you fuck with me, you honest whore? <laughs> oh no. This 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 is not good. This is not good. Best in the game, by the way. He is too. Like it's not even close. Chuckles' dad is Steve Amster, a bagel shop owner Zionist. Yes, an actual bagel shop owner. Not kidding, by the way. And I'll make sure I get this on screen so we can read it uh, clearly. So this, this is all true, by the way. Well, according to the press, I mean, maybe they could be wrong. Who knows? Vigilantes Task Force and Nonprofits Crusade Against San Diego's Illicit Sex Economy After 18 Months of Allegedly Exchanging Messages Online with a 14-Year-Old Child 
A Lucidia bagel store owner agreed to meet the youth in person. But when Steve Amser arrived at the parking lot near a Menchie's frozen yogurt on September 11th in Oceanside, he was instead met by a man holding a video camera, asking him what he was doing there. A question answered didn't stick around long enough to answer. The confrontation caught on camera was one of the latest re videos released by Ghost, an online vigilante who targets sexual predators in San Diego County. So her father was caught on camera trying to fuck a 14-year-old, allegedly. Jesus fucking Christ. That is so bad. That is so fucking bad. And again, you can ask her about well, it if you want, but, but uh, yeah. Is there a video? I think uh, you should. I could send you the is link. That, was that the video? Uh, there may actually be a video of it, but like I don't have the video. Like, hold on. I'll, if there's a video, it'll be found very soon <laughs> because, um, like I have like a, 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 a like the legend, uh, here. But uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, but that's the video. Okay, okay. I like chuckles, but like she does some dumbass shit. Like I can't lie. Like the like design is shit is like no one can no no one in this sector wants to hear like a constant stream of politics from anyone about anything. Um, so that's why I don't do it. Like I'm not on. on I'm, I I don't be telling people about all my political opinions because that's just you like that's how you ruin like any fucking friendships you're ever gonna have. True. Because there's always going to be someone that doesn't like one of your opinions. So you're just going to end up, like, basically naming yourself as, like, a, as, as like a Zionist gun guard. <laughs> a video exists. Coco Berry swears a video exists because if it was on Ghost, then, then it definitely exists. Um, I believe that, but I, I don't it. have the video. I need to um, Godwinson won't denounce Chuckles and her Zionist father. No, he won't. He's trying to fuck Chuckles, actually. Uh, yeah, he, he's trying to do it to get, like, a win over me. And it's like, I really don't What a have. win. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, God, I know she's your friend, but what a win. Oh, my God. Chuckles, uh, you can have him. You can have him. He's all yours. Take him. Jeez, what an absolute he's fucking all yours. win that is. Jesus Christ. Take uh, him. He's, he's completely yours. <laughs> All right, we're looking through. Let's see. Uh, I'm looking through here. Somebody says, Ralph, please, this bitch is awful. She's not, actually. She's very funny. I think she's pretty good addition, actually. And would you just rather <laughs> me sit here and talk to myself? For, uh, poor Clutch sent in 125. He sent in 125, and I did everything he, that I said I would do, and Elaine came in. What do you want to? What do you want to pay more money to kick her? Like, is that what you're suggesting? Like, I don't. There's someone called Mister Man who goes by Ride on. I, no, actually, it's not the same person. Forget that I said that. No, is there someone who goes by no, Mister Mr. Man? He doesn't like you. Mister Man, the reason he doesn't like me is because he's friends with someone called Brian Nunes, who is like a literally got sent to, to court for like talking to children at work, and Brian Nunes goes by Impressor. Um, like on YouTube and on Twitter and Brian Nunez has been like for the past two years trying to get like my shit shut down trying to like defame me he's obsessed with me he literally has over a thousand photos of me saved he makes gifts of me like he's the one making all the gifts any gift you see of me there's a fucking high chance it was him um, he also stamps his logo of everything why don't we have well. him call in yeah, can we get Impressor to talk about why Kiwi Farms banned him for talking to children on there? Because that's what he was doing. There were two there were two underage users who were later banned for being underage, called Aero and Vetti. Vetti was underage at the time, he's not anymore. But no one knew this because he lied. And Impressor was the only one that knew this. And Impressor was all over his DMs and on his Kiwi Farms profile, being like, Uwu Vetti. And if you go to his profile on Kiwi Farms, if you go to Impressor, if you have an account and you log in and you read what's on his wall, um, you have to type in Impressor and then hit enter because he's been banned. But where you search for members. But he legit has like walls of kids telling him to stop fucking contacting him. So Mr. Man is friends with that person. And I said to Mr. Man, I don't like Impressor. 
because, you know, he's a sex pest and also a pedophile. And then Mr. Man now thinks that I don't like Impressor because Impressor uploads clips of me. And it's like, congratulations, bro. You've completely def- deflected from everything I just said. Um, so that's why he doesn't like me. Because I told him to stop being friends. Oh, you know what? Go put the uniform on. Okay. <laughs> Can you do that? I'm doing that. I'm getting ready. You're doing that now? Yeah. That's kind of sexy. My, I'm putting my content lenses in. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm full stern. I was raised in Howard Stern. See, these niggas had no idea. They're like, Raul was so dirty with her the other night. I was like, dude, that was like like quarter dirty compared to Stern. Like, are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, but, the freight header was was being cocked bad. And he was yeah, I it. was like, dude, I, if you, did you watch the '90s growing up? Like, I guess you didn't because you're a fucking zoomer faggot. But like, no offense, but like, um, yeah, dude, that was the type of like light play that was that was around the '90s. A uh, pantsuela who, by the way, no, my girlfriend's still my girlfriend. I'm joking around, of course. Yeah. Jesus Christ, people are so ridiculous. Like. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna start acknowledging or, or, or like keep acknowledging that because it's so dumb. Uh, because she knew about my girlfriend way before like you knew up. about her. Perch Picasso knew about her, Chief, and that's it. Yeah. And Perch Picasso made up a bunch of lies uh, and either told a few truths and mixed in lies or what. To try to smear me with Goblinson. Um, there were one or two. I, I hate to think that he like participated in that whole thing because Goblinson said some really fucked up things about me. So I really hate to think that about Perspicacity. But he knew a couple things um that 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 Goblinson wouldn't have known without him telling him. So I think Parsip should snake Godwinson. Well, he's too big of a coward. Yeah, like I just called in and like dunked on him, and every and then person was just sat there crying. Like, why, bro? Please I mean, he can call in right now. I mean, nothing's stopping him. I want to see Adam. I call mean, those in. yards aren't gonna I... mow themselves. I mean, I know that, but like, uh, I want to see Godwinson call in. <laughs> of course, he won't. Are you kidding me? Person thinks Godwinson is from... like his. I don't even know. It's like his uh, muse or some shit. Like, it's weird. It's weird. All right, put your outfit on, sweetheart. We'll get back to you in 15 minutes. That sound good? Yeah, awesome. All right, awesome. <laughs> Are you there, Elaine? Hi. Hey. I've got it. <laughs> you got it? Are you ready? I'm ready. I, you know what? Like, have my video on. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait one second. You should turn your video on, but wait one second. Um. Uh, because I want to put it on the screen. This may or may not be the most degenerate thing I've ever done. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Okay. Okay, now hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta make it full screen, though. You know. Oh, no! No, don't do this to me! <laughs> Dude, you're fucking... Shut up. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> you, got a, you got a simp army of fucking, like, 100 miles long. Are you even fucking kidding me? All right. Uh, <laughs> like, don't, don't pull this shit with me. Okay, uh, let's see. Cock his head! Is he? Yeah! <laughs> no shit. Oh okay, my God, well, I first off. i my anime outfit. No, wait. First off, show your anime outfit. So I turn my video on. Yeah, you should. Uh, and let me turn mine off because um, it'll, it'll fuck it up. Uh, let me try to fix that here if I can. Okay. Just tell me when. Now. Okay. Um, front camera continue. I've got Oh my god. <laughs> I've even got a room. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please screen cap this. 
can we screen cap this? Oh my gosh, she puts a red lipstick on and everything. Okay, you know what? Can we get a round of applause, please, for Elaine right there? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, again, I'm tied down, but uh, wow. Okay. What does the chat think? One to ten. I can't vote because I'm a host, but one to ten, I, I my vote would probably be pretty high if I had to if I had to say. But uh, one to ten, I mean, come on, dude. are you one to ten? Like seriously, one to ten right now on the vote, nine point five seven. Okay, no, no, literally vote. Don't fucking with this. Don't with this bullshit. Six million smash, or you can just go smash your pass. Ten. Okay, either one to ten or smash your pass. Ten, ten, twenty, ten, nine point nine, smash seven, nine point five, five. Okay, that's a hater. We understand. Smash, 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 nine, six. Nine five nine nine eight five ten. So I would say, based off my West Memphis uh, math education, that that would be well over an eight, Elaine. Uh, for I've what you just got did. for the couple segment, a kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you want to stay here for what's about to happen? Of course you do. I, I can't stand Keffles. I have all of Keffles' DMs. No, 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 Keffles not Keffles, but for Cog. Yes, obviously I want to stay. By the way, I, I shouldn't say this because I'm in trouble, but you do look you do look good. And thank you for thank for, you. Thank you for going I can't all wait out. To bully Cog. Thank you for going all out for that. And she really did, and she really does look good. Okay. Uh now let's see here. Um it's a fake cog, Ralph. He's doing his show. Well, don't tell me that. No, it's a real cog. What the fuck are you talking about? That's cog. Let me check. Well, um, no. Cog, go ahead. Wait. It does seem okay. Cog, unmute yourself. Hey, cog, it's cog life, mate. You want to talk shit to me, Ralph? I'm here to beat your ass again, or I'll have no Dan come and mate. Now wait, Cog, well, can't we put this behind us, man? Like it's it's been going on for so long at this point. Can we can we just like No right. I've gotta stomp you into the street, mate. No, nah, man, we just let's just put it behind us, dude. It's over. Like, right? Like, is it not? No, mate. I can never leave it gone, man. I have to stomp you into the ground for my honor and my integrity, mate. Man, I just want to put it behind us, man. What is your problem, dude? I'm just really in love with you, mate. I can't stop thinking about you. Oh. Well, you know, I fuck dying pieces like Elaine. I don't fuck, you know, minus dying pieces like you. Uh, so, like, what, 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 like, what's going on? Don't you want to come? No, no, I don't want to come. No, 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 I don't. No, 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 no. Mexico City next week. I'll, I'll have my fun. Don't worry about it. Elaine, come to Mexico City next week. Fuck it. Will you? And this Should is how I? Demon Baby number two so, or so, three or four was made. Oh, uh, man. You know what, Cog? Do you want to come to Mexico City? Yeah. Bring your Pajit. Bring your Pajit. Elaine will bring her boyfriend. Yeah. I'll bring my girlfriend, and we'll have a triple-double date. We'll fight this out. You're going to get the Mexican gigolo, Mike? Uh, what Mexican gigolo? The one that you have on speed dial, Mike. Do I? Uh, pull out the phone, Mike. Well, I mean, I could pull up my phone, but... You said I had them on speed dial, so like, what do what do you know that I don't know? Like, uh... I've never had any oh. problems getting bitches on like Cog, who's got cucked at every opportunity. Tell uh... me when I should turn my video off. <laughs>
Anyway, thank you, Cog. I appreciate you, brother. <laughs> brother, mate. I'm thank PPP's brother, mate. Yeah, I believe that. Get out of here. All right. Um, if you want to get um, ba added back later, you can't. Are you going to come to Me You won't come to Mexico City. I know it's... You're not... First off, don't power level. But are you in London? No. Because I looked up tickets for London today for a reason, by the way. Uh, and they were like um, 600 pounds for like one day. Why that was to leave today. You? That was to leave today, 600 pounds. So I could probably leave cheaper than that, like next week or something like that. But I'm already going to Mexico City next week, and then I'm going to a place called Tosco, which is T-A-X-C-O, which is X is S in, in, in Spanish language. Uh, and... Um, so I, I don't actually, I, I don't know where you're at. Don't tell anybody, but um, I don't know that it would cost that much for you to fly to Mexico City. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Europe. I'm, cl I'm like close to, to England, but like, I'm like. Don't say too much. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, don't. I'll just, be careful. Don't yeah, yeah, look, look, look. I've been around too long, Elaine. Don't say too much. Don't say too much. Don't say too much. But um, I think people already know the country I'm in, but like not where, so like. Well, I've heard Romania. Oh, no, no. I was there for like 24 hours um, to do a stream. Russia. Like docks. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> like kind of a far ways over. away. Will they even let me in Russia? Can you get me in Russia? Probably. T to be completely honest, yeah, probably. <laughs> Will you actually get me in Russia? I know a lot of people. Well, I mean, you're part people Russian. Are you not part Russian? Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh my god she speaks russian too oh i didn't think there was a sexy for some accent. reason everyone was on my stream always like you're such a liar you were born and bred in the uk and oh I'm like, wow i didn't think there was a sexy accent okay you know look can you get me in russia you think so i have to i have to check because it's also to do with there's a lot of war shit um, yeah I'm well you know i'm anti-america anyway who gives a fuck I'm not. I'm not that near the conflict. I mean, I'm kind of. No, I want to go to St. Petersburg. Like... Oh shit! No, I'm not in St. Petersburg. Okay. Well. Okay. I'm in uh, another big city. Moscow. Okay. Um. You can get me there though. It'd be cheaper probably. to travel to Moscow anyway. I mean, I'd probably have yeah, to say you're I my girlfriend though. Romania. I'd probably have to say you're my girlfriend. <laughs> The reason I was in Romania is I was like super paranoid about being doxxed at that time. So because I have a grandma in Romania, I was like, eh, I might as well just see her and also do my stream on Play Gang. Because if I'm going to be doxing a bunch of Play Gang people, this is a perfect time. So I fucked off to this studio place. Oh, they think <laughs> they think that I that I that I stayed in there for like fifty dollars a night. And the the reality is like my friend owns the whole complex so of course that's why was that. you're rich what the fuck anybody can tell that yeah. like i mean go ahead like people are so, so dumb when you complex, when you see a rich no, bitch like, you know one like anyway sorry i don't mean that as an insult but go ahead oh no there's nothing bad about it being poor is so much worse imagine being cock yeah right like i mean when you see a rich bitch you know one anyway go ahead so i was there in that studio and it's just a basically quite a played studio and the reason I was there is because, like, I knew that as soon as I dox all these plate people, they were going to do their absolute best to swap me. So I was like, I'm not going to do this from my apartment. Like, that's fucking stupid. So I made sure I was in a place that I knew for a fact. It didn't really matter if they were trying to, if they tried to swat it because there's security. And, like, it's a whole different system in, like, Eastern Europe. Like, they, it's not that easy to do that if you, like, sort of know someone who knows someone. It's like, if you've already, like, called in and explained, I think that's the same in America. Like, if you get swatted a lot and you call up and you explain, that's yeah, but they don't. Like, but you see, in Mexico, that happened to me once in Mexico. So in America, they swatted me like ten times, and in Mexico, they swatted me, and then I explained. I said, "Hey, these are people online who think this is funny," and they said, "Really? That's a thing?" And I said, "Yeah." And they said, "Well, don't worry. We'll never be back to your house." Um, because... Yeah. So with me, because I explained before, and also because. But it's not like America because they're worried about lawsuits and shit. Here in Mexico, like, they don't give a fuck, like, obviously. Like, yeah, uh, because of family shit as well. Like, they are so unlikely to just swap me. Um, like, 
So the thing is, I knew that like it wouldn't really matter if I was there and got swatted because I'm only going to be there for like 24 hours. It's not like they're going to be able to do it again. So if I get swatted once, I don't really give a fuck. I mean, it's exciting anyway. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. People feel free to swap me. I don't care. So, um, so I didn't really mind about that. So I was there for like 24 hours to record this like one video where I like dox play gang people. And then, and then I went back. Um, and everyone thought it was like a big own that they managed to like dox that place. And the whole point of it was to be doxed so that I didn't get my like actual place dog because fuck that shit. Um, so I already have a so flight yeah. booked to Mexico City uh, next Thursday. And so like I unfortunately I'm an idiot and didn't change it where I could cancel it. Um, so no, you should go. We'll book this properly so that we have like more time to plan. Yeah, it might take a minute. It might take a minute. Because I feel like we're going to just fuck this up if we do it spontaneously. I feel like it'd be amazing, honestly, if we did. But it would like, be fun, though. But you're right. You're right. Am I still on video? Yeah. You're hot. What oh, the shit. Hook? <laughs> Hi. I've been stroking this these bristles on this broom, and everyone's probably like, what is she doing? Yeah, you're still but... on video. Obviously, let me pull you back up here. Uh, let me see. <laughs> there you go. But basically, yeah, I could, I could, I could probably get there like at one point. I mean, I just have to avoid places that I'm like deportable from, I guess. Um, You're not deportable from Mexico, nigga. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, do you know? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> it's a fucking drug. Anyway, never mind. I won't go into Mexico's totally stable. Don't worry about it. But like, um, the broom. There it is. Please, somebody take a screenshot of her doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got the sunglasses, okay? We can do one with the broom and the yeah, 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 yeah. Extra, extra I agree. Sector. I agree with that. I agree with that. Oh, and the kiwi too. Wow, unbelievable, unbelievable this show, of Moxie, right photo, here. Like Emma. <laughs> and Cog won't call in because he's a pussy. Jesus, what a what an absolute. Cog is like I'm embarrassed, like as someone who like lives in the UK to have lived in the same place as him. Like that is, I'm so sorry you've had these experiences, Ralph. Like that is not what everyone, the, it kind of is. I love, whatever. man, I love London, dude. My, my first wife, I, you know my history a little bit. Like I actually, I know she's a Pakistani, but she was lived there her whole life. And uh, I love London actually, even though it's a multicultural shithole. Oh, London's a uh, shithole. Yes, I, I know. Time. I don't care. British Museum, fuck you. Archer Wellington, fuck you. Um, there's still a lot of cool shit in London. And yes, you're right. It is a multicultural shithole. But even there's, wow. but there's a what lot of cool shit. What? Johnson and putting my number on a string, you fucking pedophile! Your mother molested you, and she fucked dogs, and the weird mutant what? puppet dog hybrid is what Ron and Ralph put in the oven, and you killed, what? you killed your brother, you killed your puppet brothers that your mother, when she fucked dogs, had, cause she was just so full of dog sperm that she had, it was impregnated little puppet children. Damn, is that King Paul? She murdered them in the oven. King of Paul, chill out, man. Wait, hey, and Brian. That's why you ran to Mexico. Brian, so chill out. Oh, dude. Brian, chill out, dude. That's why you had to stick it in a towel. No, you Brian, chill out, out, man. You Wait, Brian, let's have a conversation, you brother. Crack on here. Brian. Dancing for pennies. Dancing for pennies in the gutter for her Mexican Brian, pimp. Brian, chill her out, fat, man. Your crazy Brian, Mexican chill out, pimp. brother. Dance what's going up. on, man? Oh, man, you can't even have a conversation with these people. No, please, please let him back. No. no, I had to remove him. He he, he wouldn't let me get a, a word in dying. edgewise. Like that wasn't actually Brian, that by the way. So that was funny. a that was a fake Brian, of course. But it sounded just like him. <laughs> no, that wasn't actually Brian. No, it fooled you though, that didn't it? Suspiciously like Brian. No, it wasn't. You think so? Oh. I mean, I don't know. I'll ask chat. Am I wrong? I don't think no, that was not Brian. That was a fake Brian. I, I've heard his voice for ten what, years. What, what's the thing? What's like your tea? What's your opinion on like the Brian shit recently? Um, I think that he was right about Gomson and uh, to a certain extent perspicacity snagging. Uh, but I also yeah, think, I but I also think Brian's like a complete fucking spurg snake himself. Um, and that's who they surround themselves with, and that's what they get. So, yeah, I feel like, 
I feel like Brian kind of must have had a clue that he was like the group's lackey and that they were kicking him. Like they were kicking him for like fun and to get him to spurg out for like quite a while. But for whatever reason, um, Brian just couldn't work this out. So he ended up being just like completely rough. Like, I mean, to be fair, I think what happened to Godwinson was actually worse than what happened to Brian Dunn. Like, I think he looked somehow worse. 750 lie, like, by the way. Go ahead. The way Godwin's, uh, the way Godwinson flails around afterwards was just. Gawson, like, dude, can we talk about Gawson for a minute? Because yes. uh, Gawson has just do. Do we have any? Do we have the drops? Like, do we have the Hobbs and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn my video off. That's though. that's fine. All right, cool. That's turn fine. me off, and I'm gonna okay. Apply. I'll turn you off. I'm usually <laughs> like, I'm usually used to turning women on, but I'll go ahead and turn you off. Uh, okay, now. Uh, I guess this is like a new one for you. Yeah, it's a new um, one for me. But I will. I'm gonna go into like my archives and find the, the like the like Godwinson photos. I'm gonna censor out. I'm gonna be nice and censor out his colleagues' faces, because they don't deserve to be attached to his shit. Okay. Okay. Now wait. Now I have to actually find out. Okay. There we go. All right. I I censored you out. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm going to get rid of their faces because I just don't think it's fair that they get wrapped up in that and shit. And big if you so, got anything to say, call in, buddy. Nobody stopped you. You're not banned. Cool. Okay. What's up? There's like three that I'm thinking of where he looks super fucked up. Did you fuck Gawinson, yes or no? No. Did you suck his dick, yes or no? No. Did you do any type of sexual activity with Godwinson, yes or no? No, he's a pussy. <laughs> uh, no, he's a pussy. Do you know that's what pissed him off the most? And that's why he made up all that shit about my mom molesting me, which is ridiculous, by the way. Uh, that's I mean, why he that's did all just, that, because I outed him as the false British playboy that he never was, Elaine. That he never was. I'm finding all of these photos, unless he got rid of them, but I'm pretty sure I capped them at the time. So well, we'll if, they're, if they're you know of a certain nature, I, I, I you know... I mean, they can make their way some other places. I, you know, I, I, I don't uh, support that sort of thing, of course. But uh, okay, where are we at here? Let me see if I can pull up the screen. I oh, I'm on the wrong it. phone number of his. That's why, because he got too many phone numbers. By the way, Doctor so Pierce that. says I'm not buying it. She's lying. Well, I guess you can think that you're entitled to your own opinion. Okay, so oh, prove go. why you're not lying. So, I mean, first of all, I'm not really someone that's, like, that ashamed of, like, embarrassing shit. Like, bear in mind, I'm the person who, like, <laughs> whose, like, legacy in the sector was, like, supposedly slicing my thighs up for a Janny. That's so, right. Like, that's how I first heard of you. Yes. So, are we really, are, am I really the type of person that would lie about something as small as fucking a fairly good-looking Easter lad? Why would I do that? Like, what? why would that benefit me? Wouldn't it benefit me more to say I fucked him? But... The, th the other thing that I want to point out is that, is that like, I'm fairly, like, I've always said what I'm into. I've always said I like dominant guys, I like tall guys, they have to be edgelords. Um, he was not really an edgelord in the end, he was an edge pussy, but like, whatever. Oh, and, no. and so, oh, no. So, because I've always said that, like, I'm not really the type of person that has like a re I mean, there's people. People in this in the sector seem to think that I bend over for anyone, which I've always found really weird. Because, well, because I'm like a fairly non-sexual I mean, person. They think that about all life. women, so they see my girlfriend, and she's really fucking hot, obviously. Uh, and they're like, oh, well, she must be a whore. She must be a prostitute. And it's just like, well, no, I just, like, got in there, charmed her. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, it's, it's available for all men, right? Like, I mean, uh, I said this last night. I don't know what you think about this. But a lot of men, I think, are intimidated um, by the fact that they can't get these hot women, and they yes! don't even try. You worked it out. Yeah, that I worked. I worked on that. Like, nigga, like, yeah, like it's like 
you can do this. You don't have to fear this. Most hot women, or even like seven to, to ten level women, don't get that much approach from men because men are afraid to approach them. Right. I'm gonna post on Twitter the rare the rare God Winstons. Okay, do it. Right, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I am. But I, I, I tried to say that last night and, and of course not in every case, you know, you know, there's there's exceptions, but like um All right. I posted it. Okay, let's see. Oh no. Why why was he sending you all these, by the way? I don't know. But he he's fucked in those. <laughs> what a fucking loser. Are you kidding me? Hold on wait a second. God damn. Why is this supposed to turn on a female either, by the way? Like I I I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Did that but did that make you wet? Like, hey Elaine, fuck fuck. Elaine, did this photograph can you see this on my screen? Let me let me load it up. Can you see this on yes. my screen? <laughs> yes. Did this make you wet? Absolutely. Ten hours. <laughs> oh boy. I bet the pussy was just absolutely dripping like the goddamn Caribbean Sea after seeing Literally something like this. Ball. Oh Niagara my Falls. Niagara Falls, you're right. I didn't even <laughs> Why did he try this with me? I don't understand. All he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Uh and also I'll... go ahead. Also, I, I just want to mention quickly, because this might be relevant. I've had some associates, some highly regarded associates of mine look into his uh his baronship to find out that he actually his status of lordship and his sort of family of course line fake. of baronship. His his no his family's really? line of aristocrat of aristocracy was was ended so it was it's ended right yeah yeah because they ended it in the um honor lords act of like 1973 so or some I've shit got yeah, some, yeah yeah I've yeah I've sent you a link to the post yeah 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 um, so I know what you're talking about it. by the way because um I think it was in it was either in the 70s or the 90s um they got rid of a bunch of lordship families uh to basically trim the number of the house of lords uh, so I'm gonna find the post. Um, okay, here we go. So it's basically, I'm just Big going through the smile fucking cow friend. Like, Can we zoom in on those chompers, Rob? Have a time. brush at him, Edge. But here we go. Wait, that teeth on. looking pretty yellow, by the way. I have to say, man. Like, he was talking about my teeth. I, I know. I was about to say, like, really I, I know y'all are British, but like, what the fuck? Like, this is, come on now. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's the long post that was, that was made by someone. I very that I trust and who is incredibly intelligent. So we've got I don't know if it's gonna save on to where it if word search pigment and you'll find the post. So I'm just gonna send you the link. Um word search pigment. So I've just sent you the link to that. So you can pull up the proof okay. that his his line, his family line was ended, and we have his whole family tree there as well. So no shit. Oh, so that's on that's on cow. So like, how deep do I have to go here? Like, hang on, let me send you the cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. send me the direct link because I, I I can't I can't scroll through the yeah. No, it's fair fair enough. Okay, so I'm just gonna cap this. Let me just crop this. I don't need to dox my time again um so so we've got this photo here which is of his uh family tree i just sent that to you on twitter and then we right. have a photo of the original uh person with the title um i'll send that one over as well Shit, why is my Twitter being glitchy? I just I just sent you one of them so you can see that. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit uh, this one because this 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 needs to go out. This this needs to go out. This this picture of him smiling with the 
with the AX, like, like, I mean, that, that needs to, that needs to spread wide. I'm sorry. Uh, like, God, those teeth looking rough, dude. His teeth are more rotted than cogs. Are you kidding me? Dude, I hope you didn't kiss him. No, I'm all good on that front. <laughs> Oh my god, his teeth are more rotted than cogs. No wonder he hates cog. I mean cog is lower to be fair, but <laughs> but not by much. Also, I sent you the bloodline um and the links to the articles pertaining to it and to the original lord. Okay. Okay, so let me it's see. not got any doctors. There are no addresses in that cab. I made sure. So they just ended the the baronship or the lordship or whatever. Um, let's see. Uh, Look at the photo. The photo of the first photo I sent is the one that's to be looked at. Okay, so I see links in a chain. Is that not the one? The first. I'll, I'll read. Oh no! Just I, the see, photo. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. Um, let me see if I can pull it up without logging into to my own Twitter. God damn it. I have to log into my own Twitter to fucking show. Send that to the Killstream Twitter. Okay. Killstream. Oh, that's his whole family line there, huh? Yeah. Uh, just, a, just some light research. So, <laughs> I sent it to you on I sent it to you on the kill on the uh, kill stream one, and it's we edited in his whole bloodline, so you can have a look at that. Okay. Well, I will then. Uh, give me one second, and I'll pull it up. Uh, let's see here. Oh boy. So was this the last one that was actually considered like, uh, somewhat royalty or what? Like I don't know. So this is like where where it ends. Like this is basically where where his like line of aristocracy ended. That was like when he, the last sort of knight. I don't know how to fucking explain this. <laughs> Lord Knight Baron, whatever. Yeah, I know what you mean. It ended with this, right? Am I right? Uh, it says it can't be found. Yeah, no, I'm gonna pull it up. Don't worry. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Uh, so it ended. Yeah, that, that's basically how it ended. So that guy who, like, uh, Knoll's Edge was the original start point of the line of aristocracy. And the law and the dates next to each name pertain to, like, birth dates or, like, wh when they would, when they died. So when it, we can check, like, the last date of birth, and that's when the line of aristocracy ended. Holy smokes. All right, let's see. Uh, see, I saved it. God, I hate Twitter, by the way. Um, okay, give me one second. And I'll pull it up. Uh, it's because it saved it as jpeg.small, which nothing recognizes except Twitter. God damn motherfucking shit. Um, okay. Okay, let's pull it up. Save image as, yes, downloads, yes. Okay, man, what the fuck? Okay, just, 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 just toll with me. It's, it's live. It's live. You know how it goes. Um, it's fine. I'll bet it with you. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Let's see, 627, yep, that's it right there. Okay. So this is where the family line ended, is what you're telling yes. me. Yes, this is where the, the like aristocracy, like the titles, like Baron, all of that, that's when that ended. But there's also another photo next to that one. Like, that's the guy who began the line. And then the photo of the tree. He looks like Adam a little bit. Except, and by the way, Adam's hair is looking like that a little bit too these days. But yeah, they uh, have the same hairline. I've looked at that. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Should we pull up the family tree as well? Yeah, because it has no doxes in there and they're all dead, so you can't be legally held accountable for anything involved in that. Okay. Well, then why not? Hence why I cut off the line at 1917, I believe. Man, you are really ace, I have to say. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, downloads. We'll upload that as well. Oh, boy. <laughs> And by the way, oh, it's a work. Well, I mean, if it's a work, it's a it's a dance. It's the best work ever. Uh, you know, it's I, not a work. It's real. You can't bust that shit. Okay, let's see. Downloads. Boom. Family tree. Boom. Copy image link. Boom. Okay, so this is Adam Edge's family tree. Edward Knowles, Sarah, 1784, Joseph Knowles, William Edge, Ann Knowles, Sarah Edge, Hannah Edge, Alice Edge, oof, that name again, um, <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Edge, Clara Beesdale, obviously outside the royalty, uh, but whatever, uh, Knowles Edge, Mary Jane Preston, Ann Edge, and then Edward Knowles Edge, William Edge, Ada Jane Ickringill, John Harold Edge, Knowles Edge, and Mary Margaret Edge, 1917. So his name really is Edge. It is Adam Edge. It is. That's correct. It's just that the his aristocracy is technically dead. Well, it's dead. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. They end it because they cut back on the aristocracy from time to time. From time to time, uh, for the lower class aristocracy, they don't cut out the they don't cut out the big Ew, dogs. The they don't cut out the big dogs, Elaine. They cut out the little dogs. Uh, you know how it works. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, there's there's his family tree right there, right here, live on the kill stream. Let me let me try to reset yeah. this. Wow, holy shit, this is just. Why did he want to do this to me? I don't, I don't understand. Like. <sighs> oh, why did he do this? Yeah, oh. he literally didn't reply for like weeks and blocked everyone on his contact list, so I kind of got bored of him. Well, yeah, who wouldn't? Um, so I was like, bye. <laughs> now, what do you think Perspicacity is going to do about this? Fuck him up the asshole? I don't know. Ha ha ha! Yeah, you <laughs> may, you may be right. You may be right. You may be right. You may be right. But there's the whole family tree. I'm I'm trying to make it bigger and uh, so people can uh, see a little bit more. Um, and I have too many window captures open, so I'm trying to um, make sure everybody sees that. Let's see, Alt. Uh, I hate OBS by the way, but okay. Mary Jane Preston. Who said his grandma? No, that's eighteen yeah, eighty. That well, like his great grandma, or like whatever. Basically, I think. Ann Edge. That's his grandma. Yeah. Ann Edge is his grandma. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, well, you know, for the longest they tried to say that was the fake name and. This is bullshit, and they're not saying that anymore. I noticed. <laughs> of course they're not, because I got involved. They're not saying that anymore. Um, so Ann Edge, and then Edward Knowles Edge. Uh, Ann Edge is his grandmother. How well Bolton Lancaster Edward Knowles appears to be his grandfather. Um, um and wow you really did your research yeah Knowles Edge. so wait 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 actually mary margaret edge is a little bit old is a little bit younger so that could be his grandmother these are all his relatives though and he actually is yeah. adam edge and he actually does work for a school yeah he does. He used. Uh, he's in. Te he used to be in teaching. He doesn't work in teaching anymore. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that he doesn't work in teaching anymore. <laughs> oh 
Oh my God. Why did they do this? Like, I, I, I don't even. And then they, a lot of people, well, not a lot, but like a small 20% think you're like playing me. And it's like, well, if you're playing me, then damn, you're doing a really good job. Like these are all the fucking documents and facts and Goblinson looking like a fucking retard. Um, so, um, good job, I guess, if you're playing me. Uh, <laughs> I have no uh, reason to play you. Nah, I don't think you play me. Um, anything else? Like, you know, Gobbleson put out a video. He, he showed you in bed. You, you didn't, you, you had clothes on, but your legs were exposed. Yeah, I was wearing a dress. That's usually the case. <laughs> That's true. But nothing ever happened between you and Gobbleson, despite all that. No, nothing happened. And you seem a little sad about it. Uh, usually I like to think that guys are not beta males, but you know, we always, we, we come across a few now and again, I guess. Yeah, we do. We, we come across a few here and there. Um, I mean, it seemed like you, like, like you thought you were going in to like get it put down and like nothing like that happened. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to speak for you, of course, but like, uh, it, it seemed like, like you thought you were going in for like, uh, you know, the, the old, uh, old school British empire treatment. Uh, and instead he gave you the old school British cold shoulder, uh, stiff upper lip, uh, except well, no, it wasn't on your pussy. No, he wanted something to happen. Like he sent me all these cutesy text messages. Being like, you really, you mean a lot to me, Elaine, all of this shit. And I think because I wasn't being that enthusiastic, he was just, like, scared to, like, initiate anything because he thought I'd, like, I don't know, kill him in his sleep or something. Um, Which, you know, I, I don't do that too often, so I don't know why he was that scared. And so he basically never initiated anything because he was, like, worried about that happening. But why just fuck anyway? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. No, he was worried I'd like reject. He's scared of rejection. Like, why, That's dude? What like, just get rejected. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, okay, you get rejected. It's not the end of the world. What are you, 17 years old? Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, um, okay, yeah, it hurts your feelings when you're a teenager, but like, um, okay, a woman doesn't want you. And you did, though. That's, I mean, I don't speak for you, but like, it felt like, you know, you were meeting up to, I don't know. You speak for yourself, but like, uh, you were down for something to possibly happen. I think that's fair to say. I wasn't like anti it, that's for sure. Right, exactly. You weren't anti it. But it quickly became anti it. When you see a face yeah, like this. I don't like pussies. Like yeah, I mean, like, you weren't anti it, but like, this guy, oh my God, this is just. <laughs> you did you did come through again today i have to say wow you really have <laughs> you really have quite a streak going right now <laughs> thank I, you i have to say you really do uh keffels has either called off the interview or decided on pre-recording the chris chan interview oh, by the way theory. i posted keffels number on pace but if anyone wants that um probably better that i don't do that um yeah don't do that on the show but like uh it's on pacing if you type in capitals <laughs> yeah yeah it it should be it sh it probably would be better if i didn't do that because um i don't i don't need any more court cases but um but man it really it has been a beautiful day um what do you have to say about it all? About it, it, what, let me ask you this. I'll put my interviewer hat on. <laughs> if you had it to do all over again, would you do it again? Do what again? Fuck with God. Uh, yeah, it was funny. I like that answer. That's true. Because <laughs> I didn't want you to lie. Because I knew if you said no, you'd be lying. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I actually respect that answer a lot. Because I knew if you said no, you'd be a liar. Uh, but uh, I respect that answer a lot. I respect that you brought like, dude. He is just spurging all day. I don't know. I don't know if he's has he said anything yet today. Let me have a look. Uh, 
No, it's been radio silence. Oh, radio silence. I wonder what happened. Oh God, twenty-three how awful. hours ago. Wow. I hope it wasn't. He I counted that I made forty-five dollars yesterday, but but I made four hundred and thirty-four dollars today. So, um, you know, I guess it's tough. I guess it's tough out there. As they say. I just posted a tweet saying step aside gator with my broom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Gator didn't do one fifth of what you did in like two days. Like I'm not even kidding. Uh oh, thank you. I'm I not like even, even kidding. I'm thing. not even kidding. Gator was the biggest pussy. Like he would like make backgrounds for OBS and not actually run the OBS. He's that big of a fucking loser. Um, but like Gator did nothing compared to what you did to Goblinson in two days. You destroyed his reputation. You destroyed his profile as a British playboy. You being a sexy, somewhat Brit yourself, just absolutely killed him. <laughs> I like to think that the snake gets snaked on now and again, you know, like he was always boasting about how he's like, you know, the big snake of the sector, how he always gets everyone in the end. And I was like, I think we should change that. You know, I like to read, I, I like to right. I like to change history. So I was like, fuck it. Uh, like he, he's proud to do it to everyone else. Like he was doing that shit to Brian and he was saying, I've absolutely ruined this guy's, you know, I thought that it was a bit BPD. Because I was like, you know, Brian hasn't really done that much. Like, okay, he called him a druggie or whatever. But, like, I say shit all the time. Like, I've said shit about so many people. But, like, you know, if they went and did what Godwinson did, I'd be pretty mad. So I was like, this seems to be a little bit a little bit of an overreaction. Because here's the thing, and this is what I always say to people. In war, overreaction doesn't look, like, scary. It just looks, like, comedic. That's right. Like, if you overreact, it looks weak. Like, you know, if I if I was to post like his his like fucking address and like, and you could do that easily. It, I know you could. Yeah, and if I was gonna do that, people would just be like, "That's just like no, that's no, just no. foul." Today. No, no, yeah. Hey, first off, it's not foul. It's hilarious. But second off, no, you don't need to do that because it's it's overboard. It's overboard. You don't need to do that. It's also about it's also about who the target is. Like there are some people that care a lot more about being docs than than those who don't. Like for example, Claire Bear's biggest fear was being like was like you know losing her grift, losing her like website, losing all respect, having shit on by like Jim and Josh and you. So like. It wasn't hard to, to tell that she would completely leave the internet after that happened. Um, same with Graf. It's like his biggest fear was that was being exposed as like a lolly hoster um, and having everyone's snaky dealings posted everywhere. So with different people, there's like different approaches. And like the thing with Godwinson and why he fails is because he uses the same approach to absolutely everyone. And he posts on Twitter being like, saying like, oh, she's addicted to drugs. She's like, um, yeah, he does the same thing to me because he's a drug addict. Like, look, look, dude, if you, if you use drugs, I mean, I don't know, whatever. Go ahead. Finish your thought. I'm sorry. Yeah. So because he, because he says all that stuff, I mean, for me, I don't give a fuck. People say that all day to me on Kiwi Farms. It's like, I could read a million, like, you know, it's very much a bot type of reply. Like that's some real chat bot energy because like I read that shit all day and it's not very interesting. It was maybe scary and like mean the first time. And then after the first like 30 times, it got really boring really quickly. It's a bit like Sprite Header. Like that guy's, that guy's dick only works once and him exploiting like- Sprite really Header can it. suck my dick by the way. He will never get a one-on-one yeah. -on -one conversation with me in his life, so. Sprite, yeah, Sprite Header like um, used basically what happened to me and how I got like catfished or whatever, like whatever the story is. Um, sometimes I forget myself. Uh, he used that uh, to uh, to try and like farm cloud off it and to try and turn it into a lanes, actually, the one that's a pedo. And I think that's really low because I think he's taking exploitation that happens against women and using that to like try and get clout on someone else's website. And that's gay. So like with some of these people, it's like when Adam says the same shit that these people say, that actually looks weaker. Like that doesn't look like a base alpha move like honestly if someone posted like my docs i might i might be impressed like you know 
I don't mind having a little fight on the internet, but like, you know, when someone's out here being like, she's ugly, all of this shit, it's like, bro, you're coping. Please stop. Somebody said, <laughs> Elaine for co host. She's already been knighted. By the way, I was so fucking tired the other night. I was not high at all, but I was so tired. I spelled knighted with an N instead of a K. And I wanted I didn't to go back. Notice. Yeah, you didn't <laughs> even so notice. Bad. You didn't even notice. <laughs> you didn't even notice. Yeah, you did, by the way. But uh, I did fuck up because I was up for so long. And I was like, you know what? It makes sense because it was like 3 a.m. in the morning when I knighted her anyway. Uh, and Elaine is an official co-host here on the Kill Stream now. Yay. Uh, and that doesn't mean, you know, six-hour nights like every night. But uh, I wanted to have you drop by tonight uh, and, and, and drop some knowledge. And uh, There's know. like a lot of, like, I have some Kevl's knowledge as well. Okay, um, tell so it. He was, he was another person that I was like, you know, like sidling up to so I could snake them at a later date. And uh, he was, I, I first got into contact with him. Wait, like, is that after, what you're doing like, to me? No. I'm just kidding. Go Cause, ahead. No, because it happens a lot quicker. Like, it, it happens a lot quicker. <laughs> like, had, First when, off, I've been yeah, around I mean, a while, sweetheart. But go ahead. I would have had to. I would have had to have been like, you know, I'm not gonna do put up that shit for two. You know years what's funny that. is I'll say something. You sent something to me like a long time ago on Telegram. And she's like, "Are you all right? Like, are you doing okay? Like, like actually meaning it. Like, not uh, yeah, not faking it." Um, and so that's one reason I always like. Now I was told not to trust you, uh, actually, and not to tell you too much. Um, which is probably a good idea for anybody, really. But yeah. Um. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm nice to Lane. I like her. Uh, maybe I won't tell her that much, but I also am not going to be mean to her. I'm not going to join in on all this fucking, you know, I don't really, I have my own experience uh, with quote unquote with revenge porn. I don't really believe in the concept, et cetera. Uh, but I'm not going to argue about it uh, with you. Uh, and I know that you're honest uh, with your opinions and you just don't give a fuck. And that's what I like. So... I, yeah, I literally, so the thing is with me and like the Keffels thing, the reason I sidled up to these drop Kiwi farm people originally is because I didn't understand, like I wanted to know if they had like a genuine like motive because at first as someone who, I think the one thing, the, the one critique that I have of Josh is that I don't think he should host any porn because I think that it, it basically just opens up like a can of worms, um, like well, hosting porn you're right. at all. You're right. I don't think that it's his fault in the sense that, like, obviously, Kettles is fart for and has to be preserved somehow. But at the same time, you know, if I, if I was him, I would advocate against pornography and hosting anything, whether consensual well, or consensual. Well, because it just makes it that. easier to shut your shit down. Yeah. 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 yeah yes. Yeah. And it also it fixes the issue of, like, people posting, like, disgusting yeah, shit, like yeah, CP or, yeah, people or, revenge, or porn. revenge, quote unquote, revenge fixes, porn. And yes, Lolly, yes, it yes, fixes yes. all of it if you ban NSFW. So. The thing, that's my critique, but, like, the thing with Ki with the Drop Kiwi Farms people is at first I really thought that they had, like, a critique like that. Like, because that was my view. That was, like, why I was originally anti-Kiwi Farms before I stopped being anti-Kiwi Farms. So that was why I was I was convinced. I was like, maybe these people also have, like, the same problem. I joined their, their group. All they were talking about, <laughs> all they were talking about were their own friends and, like, how one person <laughs> called them, like, a faggot. Like... <laughs> I just can't believe that this is I like I know that this is the actual truth and it just like cracks me up so bad because I've been in so many of these internet communities quote unquote and that's what it always devolves into so and so called me a faggot and so and so doesn't like me uh, and they didn't retweet my post uh, and uh, what do they mean by this that's what it always devolves into by the way every single time yeah so so I was so I was in their groups and I emailed Keffels originally so how I got into contact with Keffels is I emailed Keffels and didn't get a reply. So I decided to do like the ultra weird stalker thing that I always do and join Keffels' Discord server on a million different alts and at every single one of the moderators until my email was replied to. And then my email was replied to and I was added to like a signal group. And this signal group was a group of like Keffels' inner circle, one of which turned out to be like apparently a fairy pedophile. So there's that. And... Um, I was in that group, and I don't have any beef with any of them, like, really. But I was in there, and all they were talking about is how they want to behead, like, they, they want to see Josh, like, kill himself, or, like, they want to behead him or whatever. And I was like, this is, like, kind of, like, okay, like, yeah, it sucks that, like, 
this website is hosting like pornography or like whatever but like this is a little a little bit of an over an overreaction and um kettles would join the signal group and spend all day talking about like how much he wanted like josh dead and the reason why i helped kettles at first and donated to kettles is i thought the genuine cause of all of this was because of like the revenge pornography and that's something i stand against because of the exploitation of women in like the porn industry so and not necessarily that he's a woman but like you know in general porn in general causes that issue so um so i was like I, I i was really annoyed to find out that all of these people's motives were basically just to get their friends deleted and they didn't have a genuine criticism they didn't have they didn't go through like half of the shit that i went through they just had like <laughs> they were just mad that someone called them a fag really that's all it came down to so um so i i was just in there gathering caps like of what they were saying and eventually i basically had had everything on like liz von jones Kefels all of them who were working together. Like I was in all these groups first and people could say I'm lying, but everyone saw like on Twitter. When... There's also a cap during uh, Kefels' live stream where you can see me in the background of like his signal chat because you can see him on By the way, the stop time. for one second. Yeah. Chaik Chaik said this and I try to be a representative of the audience sometimes. And, she, and he said, the fuck is she saying? Now I want you to take... <laughs> 30 seconds and re-explain <laughs> what you're saying and then go back into your story. Right. So I'm talking about Keffels, uh, the uh, transgender streamer who uh, basically has this massive war with Kiwi Farms and Joshua Moon because someone posted his degenerate activity. <laughs> That's better, better way of saying No, wait. No, look, 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 look. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. Just restart your 30 seconds go ahead i look i don't want to get into that. <laughs> go but basically capitals has like this whole war of kiwi farms and uh the reason that that's relevant to today is capitals is interviewing chris chan apparently that's happening i mean maybe i don't and know we've been waiting on it what the fuck that's why you're here and we're killing time by yeah, the way like, why the you kill time you're the best time killer of all time like you literally I don't know if that's like a compliment not, or not. No, it <laughs> is. No, like literally you were brought in to like save time until this fucking bullshit fucking fluff interview came on and you absolutely just dropped more bombs on gamas than they could possibly even like be imagined. Like what can he even say other than total kayfabe at this point, Elaine? Yeah, so Do you know what kayfabe is? Yeah, I know what kayfabe is. Like, oh, I, no, I how do you know, though? <laughs> how do you know, though? No, wait. How do you know, though? Godwinson. No, okay. Well, look. He told me what it was. Okay. So, did he just tell you what it was? You know, kayfabe is a professional wrestling term. He told me that kayfabe is, uh, for example, that, for example, of what kayfabe Lying. is. Godwinson and no, so, no, look. Godwinson, yeah. Now, Godwinson let me explain. fake argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say kayfabe as lying. So kayfabe is actually, so there's something called kayfabe and work, work or working in wrestling. Or, yeah. Right? Like, or excuse me, you're, you're working all the time, but there's kayfabe and shooting. Excuse me, I mix that up. So kayfabe means it's part of the script. It's part of the show. Everybody knows what's going to happen. Nobody cares who wins the belts. Nobody cares what happens as long as, you know, we all make money. That's kayfabe. Shooting yeah. means somebody went off the script and they said some things that weren't supposed to be said and they went too far with their banter and they went too far with their attacks, which is what Godwinson, Perspicacity, and PPP did to me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I so, agree with that. So there's kayfabe, and you know, I mean, it's all entertainment, like whatever. But you know what? When God was just says my mother molested me, I will choke the fucking life out of that faggot if I ever fucking see that's him. That's not dude. kayfabe. That's just defamation. No, no, that's just straight defamation, and I will fucking yeah. kill him if I ever fucking see him. And I don't care if Cog clicks it, clips it, fucking kick whoever. I swear to God, if I ever see you, fucker, I will kill you based anyway but go like, ahead yeah so Keffels, um 
is meant to be like interviewing Chris Chan. Personally, I don't know if this is going to happen because Keffold is always cracked out on OxyContin now. Yeah. So that that guy is like fucking wrecked half the time. So dude, I took like two milligrams off. of Xanax that would have killed like most people, and I'm just like sitting here fucking laughing with you. Go ahead. But yeah, no, Keffels is okay. This is the the funniest shit in my opinion. Is that well, it's also kind of like criminal. But everyone donated like a hundred thousand dollars in total to Keffels for his war against Josh, and like Keffels spent all of it, all of it on oxys. Like, how the fuck is that possible? Like, how do you spend a hundred thousand dollars in a year on like oxy? It's not that expensive. Like, where who's are you being ripped off, Keffels? Like, how does that happen? And I knew that it was true because I had Keffels in my signal being like, being like, I need a break from this. And I would like, I would literally basically have like a whip and I would like whip him like metaphorically and be like, no, you're going to fucking continue. And eventually he just got too strung out and ended up going to rehab. Um, but I, I just thought it was kind of funny for a while while he was flailing, like, flailing around on the internet in his like useless war. Because by that point, I realized that the Drop Kiwi Farms movement was bullshit. So I just kind of thought it was funny to like let them all flail around. Elaine, but, you know yeah, what I think's funny? Just, you as my co-host. That's what I think's funny. And <laughs> I was talking to somebody, and of course I used to have another. Um, well, actually, you're not from Britain either. Um, so she was another outsider, but she had a very posh British accent. And she co-founded this show. And one of the reasons... People loved hearing our voices together was because of the uh, sonic quality of that, right? It, it, it's yeah. um, the British accent and the Southern accent. Really, if you break it down a little bit, they go together. You know what I mean? That's where that came from in the first place. And so I think a lot of people enjoy that. I enjoyed your appearance tonight. I want you to promote anything you ever fucking want to promote in your life. I would love to do the Mexico City thing. If we can't do it this time, let's do it next time. Or let's go somewhere else, dude. I got a fucking new U.S. passport. I know all these fuckers said go I couldn't Monaco. get it. Oh, 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 Monaco. oh, Monaco, nigga. What, are you going to pay the bill? Like, what the fuck? I live, live middle class. Not that expensive. Are you serious? Monaco? Oh, the really? richest place on earth? Like, what the fuck? Like... Okay, okay, oh. wait. <laughs> Monaco is literally the most expensive place on earth besides like Dubai, I think. Are you are you kidding oh, me? I have an apartment there. <laughs> okay, can I stay there with my girlfriend? Yeah, fuck it. Okay. Fuck it, I have to arrange it though, because I because it's like Well yeah, I mean it's a timeshare, I'm sure, or whatever. But also like... also you can't fly to Monaco, you have to fly into Nice. No shit, you have to helicopter. find a nice. I already know because I looked into going to Monaco. How bad do you th think I was trying beautiful. to floss last year? How bad do you think I was it's trying to beautiful. floss, dude? Yes, I wanna go to Monaco. Would you man, you better not be bullshitting, dude. That actually pissed me off. I'm not. That'll actually it piss be me fun off. Fun. Okay. We, we can go Just we me and my like, girlfriend, we sleep in the same bed. I or couch i don't give a fuck like i it, it doesn't take much space oh i don't just anyway. have one room obviously <laughs> oh is that right obviously yeah okay well look let's let's me you and your significant other go on a monaco adventure and no filming i maybe me and um uh pansuela as they're calling her uh could, <laughs> could film a, a few things uh you know just around the city to show some people some stuff around monaco but i would just like to go to have fun like and I keep trying to make her get her passport. It takes one day to get a passport. Do you know I flew to Mexico City and got a driver's license in 15 fucking minutes? And in good time, they make you take the test, but it's in Spanish. But if you fly to Mexico City, you just get it for, like, nothing. You just pay the money. <laughs> uh, my lawyer's based, needless to say. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to hit you up about that Monaco thing. Like, because, okay, so look. Man, I don't even know if I can make her get a fucking passport within one or two months like what the fuck dude like uh it, it, like with monaco is they're quite relaxed okay when everything when can we go um, when can we I, go because i'll make it happen oh summer. you think you think that you think that pussy won't excuse <clears throat> excuse me you think spring. you think spring that summer. march march yeah that's spring yeah that works march or april yeah, March or April, um, because I want it to be hot, because then we can go to like Nikki Beach. Okay, because you think the panties won't drop for for Monaco? Yeah, I think they will. I, I I don't know how much convincing I have to do to actually go to Monaco, the fucking French Riviera. But anyway, the capital. Anyway, um, 
say whatever you want. You killed it as always. Uh, and shout out, shout out to your, shout out to your boy as well. Uh, you know, and tell him sorry. And I'll say this on air. Sometimes I don't get back to everybody on email, and it's not because I don't like them or I don't read their email. It's just because if I respond to emails all day, like I literally can't do anything. Um, so uh, I have been keeping up with it. Of course, I saw that picture um, and was very happy to see it. And um, you know, I love both you guys. Thank you for helping me out on the show. Um, and anything else you got to say? Um, have a great evening. <laughs> you too. And have and and oh. tell Pansuela that she, I hope she has a great evening too. And Am I gonna have to call her Pansuela? The biggest faggot I know came up with that name, but it actually know, has I'm to sorry, be a good it's name. So, it's, it's so, so good. good. Like it's so good. Like I can't help that the biggest faggot that I know came up with Pansuela. <laughs> But like it just happens to be Killstream Cinderita is good, but it's like not top nine. Like, but you know what? I feel like I feel like Killstream Cinderita is more of um aspirational. It almost has to be Pansuela right now, right? Because it's, it's so Pansuela. Soon. Like we're gonna for have right to, now. We're gonna have to do it. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that because that, that. Yeah, is because so I mean, you know, it used. To, Never mind. I can't say what I want to say. Um, <laughs> but you know, it used to say be it. something different, and I and I may and I strongly suggested the name be changed. Um, but anyway, we'll get to that later. Uh, thank you, newly thank you so minted much. and knighted co-host here on the Killstream, <laughs> Elaine, the red-headed firebrand. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. All right. Good night. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!